Yes, Lord. And the word says, and rend your heart and not your garments. <clears throat> and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Yeah. Amen. You have your seats. Amen. And what God gave me, uh, I was sitting there just praying, you know, uh, had been kind of going through the motions and been going through some things mm -hmm. like finally. Made my way back to the house of God. That's where health is. Yes, and amen. He was just dealing with me about how it's a heart thing. Yeah. yeah. How being with God, it's not about religion. It's a relationship. And it's a heart thing. Yeah. So we know that in the Bible, the heart is mentioned several times. But he talks about giving your heart over to him quite often. And the direction that he had me break this down was uh, a heart transplant. All right. And the first steps of when you're getting a heart transplant is they get it's the evaluation period right. and they run tests. So I looked up the definition of an evaluation. Uh huh. And what it means is to it means the making of judgment about an amount number value of something. It means basically to be checked over and see where every and see where something is where where it stands. Mm. And the uh, scripture that we all know, we quote it quite often, uh, 2 Corinthians 13, 5, says, Examine yourselves, mm -hmm. whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Yeah. And then also, he gave me uh, James 1, 23 and 25. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural flakes in a glass. Mm -hmm. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way. And straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work of this of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. And then the last thing I did with the sand was let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord, which that is in Lamentations three and four. Um, but basically we have to examine ourselves and look at ourselves and see where we're at. Because we, we know our own selves. We know if we're struggling, if we're not where we need to be at, if our heart has got grown cold to them, it's gotten hard towards them. We know. We don't need no one to tell us that. We don't need no one to see it because we ain't been making our way to the house. We ain't got a smile That's on our right. face. We ain't got a little dance. We're not happy yeah. about church. We're not happy about reading. Mm -hmm. We're not happy about when it comes to the things of God. We know. Yeah. So no one has to tell us. So yeah. therefore, that's the evaluation period. Mm. And then the next step they uh, have is type of transplant. So some I know it says heart, but sometimes when you go to a, a doctor, they can do several different types of transplants. Mm -hmm. And the ones that I looked up, it said it could be your heart and your lung or your heart and your kidney. Mm -hmm. And they call it a dual or a double transplant. Mm -hmm. And I thought about how sometimes when we don't just need our heart to, to get right. We also need our mind. We also right. need our soul. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what he gave me, creating me a clean heart, oh God. Yeah, right. And a right spirit. All right, all me. right. And then, now once be not conformed to this world, yeah. be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and account and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, you sometimes might need a different type of transplant. So you got to, if you just need your heart right, okay, but you might need your heart in your spirit or your heart in your mind. Yeah. And that was one step. And then the next one was putting together a qualified team to perform the transplant. You know, they have uh, qualified professionals, doctors, and uh, the people that put you to sleep mm -hmm. and different stuff. And where that was, you have to know who's around you. Mm -hmm. Who are who's around you while you're going through this? Are you in are you friends with people that have faith? Are you mm -hmm. friends? Is your pastor a, a person that has faith? Is the people that you come to talk to that they have faith? Are they like you know, Job's wife? Are they like right. Job's friends? All right. All so right. Uh, where he took me there was a uh, Matthew uh, mm -hmm. nine and one eight. I don't, you don't have to turn. I'm just going to read that. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold. They brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their face, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. 
And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether is it easy to say, Thy sins be forgiven me? That is the wrong part. But basically, it was about the friends that had faith that they tore the rooftop oh, off okay. of the house. Mm -hmm. That's where I was going. And they had so much faith for their friend that they was willing to get him in there to Jesus by any means necessary. That's right. That's is that right. the kind of people that you have in your circle? That's right. That they're going to be, they're going to trust God for you. They're going to make up that hedge. They're going to stand in the gap. Yeah. And that's, you have to have the qualified people around you in order to work you through this as you get to the master to yeah. get that surgery done. Yeah. And this is all the before surgery. Now we've come to the surgery. Mm -hmm. Which God is placing a new heart in you. Yeah. So that is a Ezekiel 36. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean for all your filthiness, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away from the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Ye shall keep my judgments and do them. God's trying to put a new heart in us. Yeah. That's part of the surgery. And then another scripture, it's one of my other favorite ones, Jeremiah 24 and 7. And I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. For they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Yeah. And that's just the surgery. He wants us to return unto him with our whole heart. He wants to make our hearts whole yeah. so that he can do that heart transplant on us, so that he can change our hearts, so that he can, all that dead stuff that we have in our hearts that's not of him, he can put his heart in us yeah. and make us new. Yeah. Yeah. And then after the uh, surgery, we have the post-surgery. Which is, you know, post, the word post just means after. Yeah. So, it's after, so after the post-surgery, you're normally going to have some pain. After any surgery, you're going to have pain. Mm -hmm. And the only way, you know, as, as far as even in the medical field, they say that the only way you can stop having the pain is if you get up and become active. Mm -hmm. If you have activity, you know, you get, you get up and get moving. And there, that's what God was like, well, building yourself up on your most right. holy of faith, bringing yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So that's your, your next step is getting up and, you know, just allowing God to put his faith in you yeah. and stirring you up. So we become active when we build our faith up. Then as we begin to build our faith up, we begin to self-monitor. Well, let's go back to the, the post-surgery. Mm -hmm. You start getting activity going and then you start you change your nutrition and you change all your right. life. So you self monitor what you eat and what you take okay. in. And that's where he took me to mortify therefore your members which are upon the or the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil consequence, convictiousness which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. In the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also Put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filth, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man yes. with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. If a true change has taken place and we value it, we're going to do those things to ensure that that new heart is healthy and that it stays in good shape. I mean, if you get a heart, trans a heart transplant, you want that heart to stay up because it's you know, a surgery is invasive, which means it's, it's heavy, it's intense. So you're not going to want to keep on going through that over and over again. So if you value it, you're going to make sure you take care of it. All right, all right. And so that comes to my last point. After you're uh, getting better, you probably you go through rehabilitation, but you're at home now, so you're working through it. But they give you what they call it, um, um, immunosuppressant which is a drug that strengthens your body and it lowers the uh, chances of your body rejecting that heart. And it, just, it strengthens you. And that's where he said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, yeah, yeah. and they shall walk and not faint. Yeah. So we find our strength in him, and the way we find our strength in him 
It's by fasting. It's by praying. You know, it's by staying in his word. So we fasted and we sought our God for this, and he was entreated unto us. Mm -hmm. So those, those drugs that they take in the natural to strengthen your body, we take with this word. We take from God what God gives us in order to keep That's us right. and to keep that heart strong. That's right. And we have to be very careful that we just continue to do those things, to build ourselves up. Or we'll be like the seed that fell among thorns. Mm and had the word choked out of it. We don't want to keep dying spiritually and have to keep going through a transplant oh, come on. over and over again. Not like the, the children of Israel, they kept going around in that oh, same circle. Right, come on. So eventually we have to just give our hearts to him. Yeah. And that's that comes back to the main scripture. We have to rend our hearts and yeah. not our garments. Stop getting caught up in all the other things thinking, oh, well, I just, uh, I won't give him my heart. I'll just, uh, It'll be okay. No, give him your heart. Hand That's your right. heart over to him. Yeah. Stop worrying about all the other things. I'm going to give him up praise. Don't give him your heart. That's oh, right. I'm going to give him up this false sacrifice. This, yeah. I don't really need it. I'm just doing it so it looks good. No, yes. give him your heart. That's, That's all right. he wants. Go he on. wants our heart. He wants our time, our dedication. He said, if you be willing and obedient, you should eat a little bit of the well, land. Obedience. Yeah, you have to have obedience. And when you give him your heart, when you hand your heart over to him, that is a form of obedience. Yeah. That's a form of saying, God, here I am. That's Take right. me. As I am, Lord, and work on me, make me yeah. a new creature, and we just got to go forward, forgetting those things which are behind. That's hard. That's it. Yes. Looking forward to what is ahead. We press. Yeah. So it's just yeah. encouraging to you to just continue to press and to let God work on your heart, to yeah. let Him work on your mind and yeah. your soul, and just let Him do a good work in you. Amen. 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 Amen.